In 2.7, we're going to compute standard deviation. Some of the questions are also going to ask for variance. And Excel can again compute this for us, no problem. The only tricky thing is there's a standard deviation of a sample, which is dot S, and standard deviation of a population, which is dot P. So there's two different standard deviations. We have to decide which one we're using. And variance is the square of the standard deviation. And again, here's the definition of standard deviation is how much the data deviates from the mean. Uh, so variance is a square of the standard deviation. Okay. So we're back here. This data set's pretty small. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, if you don't like to keep the formatting, you can right click and paste with just text. It's a reasonable thing to do. Uh, you can also do control shift V and that'll paste without the formatting. So we have these five values. Now I do have to know if this is a population or if it's a sample. Most of the samples will actually say the word sample in the question. And so here is a sample. So when I do standard deviation, So I'm just typing ST. So there's two choices, STDEV dot P or dot S. So this one is dot S. So I'm hitting tab. And again, just highlight them all. Right there, enter. 1.96. Variance is the square of what we just computed. So I could do E4 times E4. That's one way to square it. All right, uh, two decimal places. So highlight these two, number, two decimal places. All right, 1.96 and 3.85. Submit, okay. So again, this was a sample. I'm gonna go through a few of the other questions and we're gonna determine sample or population very quickly. If you type in the wrong one, stdev dot p for population, it changes a bit. It doesn't change a huge amount, but it does change the answer a little bit. So you will likely get it wrong here if you choose the wrong standard deviation. All right, this one says sample, so it's a sample. Sample, so that says sample. Uh, range, remember range is small minus large, minimum minus maximum, uh, sorry, large minus small, max minus min. If you do small minus large, you'll get negative. Huh, this one does not say. I'll make sure this one's not on the quiz. All right, you just have to compute these two and decide which one's the biggest. Um, all right, this one, different kinds of sweet treats available at a local donut shop. This one, there's no other, uh, these are all the treats right here, or at least all the ones we care about. So this is not a sample. This would be the entire uh, population or the entire sweet treats at a donut shop. Um, so this one is not a sample. This would be a population right here. Uh, we will come and do this one in a bit. Sample again. All right, so most of them are sample. And that's a different question. Okay, so most of them will say sample, if they are a sample.